Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back for another episode of 12 Trains of Christmas. And today we are going to be doing a Southeastern service from Faversham to Rochester in a class 375. And, and it's 10 a.m. in the morning. So I think we should just start and do this journey. So let's go ahead and put the master key on. And we will go ahead and put the direction switch into forward. We will go ahead and open the doors. The doors are on the right. Uh, let's quickly go ahead and put on the AWS and DSD. There we go. We'll put on the wipers as well because, well, it's snowing. So I think slow should be good. Uh, we'll probably move this into break one so we can just go when we, when we uh, are ready to go. And I am doing this in a special livery. We are doing it in the Platinum Jubilee uh, livery, obviously dedicated to the Queen, who unfortunately uh, we did um, she did pass away uh, this year, earlier this year. 70 years of service, and I thought I would do a, you know, a skin to you know, out of memory. I'll probably try and get a, um, a good thumbnail if I can. That'll work. Sounds like there's a 395 going on there. So yeah, I always thought I would do a special livery uh, for this journey. Also needs to put on the lights as well. Let's put them onto day running didn't really light up that much did it but i guess it's fine anyway we'll go ahead and close the doors and get going though now i do actually have something to talk about as we're doing the journey um i have tried to do this i think hold on this isn't the Sorry about that. I actually just thought I selected the wrong journey for a second. I think I probably have, but oh well, I'm doing this journey now then. Um, <laughs> I literally thought I was doing the wrong uh, route that I actually did. Um, I probably still am um, because it's not stopping at the station that I thought we were going to. Um, but what I was talking about is I think I've tried to do this three times now or, you know, uh, this episode three times. Obviously, as I said, I think I've done the wrong route here. Um, and what happened the first time I did it um what even happened on the first right i okay right i remembered uh i lost concentration <laughs> coming into one of the stations and i completely missed uh my marking there and um yeah that wasn't good i uh, completely missed my marking and uh didn't stop in time the second time i tried to do this uh my window wipers um just stopped working and i had no idea what was happening um, but I lit my lint my window wipers just stopped moving. I tried resetting it. I tried, you know, turning the train off and on again. I literally tried everything and nothing worked. And I was driving blind for a stop, which would have made for a good video, but I literally could not do a thing. He sound the horn because there was a whistle board there. So I stopped the recording to actually look back on the video to see what I did. That's when I then realized that the game sound didn't even pick up. So I guess it was kind of good in a way that I didn't record the video to then realize that the game sound hadn't recorded. Um, so I stopped that recording and now I'm doing this one. So hopefully this one's going to go well. I've checked the audio tracks are all set correctly. I've checked that everything's supposed to be good. Um, it is a different route as I, th uh, uh, I think, um, or it probably is the same one. I'm not actually too sure. Um, but yeah, I have tried to do this three times, as I said, uh, this one being my third. Another thing I want to quickly talk about is the routes that we're doing in this series, because obviously I want to try and do some, you know, like different routes. Like I don't want to do the same route over and over again, because even though, you know, I know how to drive the trains and, you know, it would be fun for me just to play the game and do that journey. It's going to get repetitive for the series, I feel. It's going to get very repetitive. And I kind of want this series to, you know, kind of be 
a series where we try and you know test out you know like um loads of different um you know trains and stuff like how you know a few days ago we did that route uh we did that german train that i've never done before obviously we did um you know we didn't stop at the at the first station well the first time and then i think the second one or approaching the second one we, de we derailed or something um we actually managed to do that though but yeah i, I kind of want to do you know i i kind of want to um you know do you know some other journeys rather than just doing the same one over and over again we're approaching Tainham though i think we will start breaking in power two now because i can actually see the marker so actually a break three might be needed here actually because uh yeah we are actually coming in quite quick so let's just hope that the train wants to slow down quickly enough Seems like it is, so we might reduce the power to break two. And that's slowing down quite nicely, actually. Which is pretty good. Got a whistle board. Let people know to get out, you know, get off the station. Well, not get off the station, but stand behind that yellow line. Okay, that window wiper noise is starting to get a bit annoying. That's a small overshoot there. Oh well. I didn't anticipate that speed well, did I? <laughs> well, we're still on the station. And I think any, you know, route or any stoppage that's at least on the station is a, is a good stop. So I guess that's good. But going back to what I was saying about doing the, re the repetitive routes, because I actually stopped so I can concentrate on my braking, even though I still um, didn't stop well. Um, obviously, we are, you know, doing... You know, we, we did a route on the 395 where we went on these tracks. And I know that we are doing it in a different train, which is the 375. And I knew that I wanted to do a train service in the 375 um, in this series anyway. And I, I, I was, you know, trying to see if I could do a different route. But the thing is, every frequent stopper service that actually stopped at stations was either Faversham to Rochester or Rochester to Faversham. I literally could not see any of the routes apart from a few, you know, empty coach stock services and a few ones that started from the depot that were any different. So I tried to, you know, see what, what, what could I do that isn't repetitive? And I literally could not see a route that was different. All I saw were either Faversham to Rochester. So, I just hope that for the future of this series, I mean, there isn't, you know, and, you know, more, you know, there isn't, you know, many episodes left now. You know, there's, I mean, we're not even halfway, but even then, you know, still not long, you know, till Christmas. Um, there are still a few episodes that I still need to plan. Uh, I have a few services that I want to do, and I will try and do them you know obviously um i will try and do them but things you know when when i figure when i've run out of those ideas what do i then do and that's what i'm struggling but um i'm sure we will work something out eventually you know we could even do you know, maybe like you know maybe like a test run of you know the steam train that i'm looking to do with the uh Polar express thing you know that special episode i could do that but as I said, we will work something out. Obviously, it's me planning it. I mean, you guys, you know, probably could have given me some requests in the comments below. But the thing is, when you're watching this, I've probably pre-recorded all of these videos because I want to get these all ready and obviously done. So then throughout, you know, the Christmas period, I can just chill out and uh, just have some fun, really. Not really having to bother about, you know making these videos you know i think pre-planning you know future videos is a good thing 
which is why there weren't many videos last month because you know I'm getting these videos done you know I'm you know getting them all planned and stuff like that have we got a sitting born in 1.6 miles we're going up a slight incline and go to a 90 actually so I can get the power down a bit more I think we'll go to sitting born just generically talking and stuff like that and then after that, we will do some speed ups. But yeah, the stations we are going to be stopping at is Sittingbourne, Newington, Rainham, Gillingham, Chatham, and then Rochester. So not many routes to go or not many stops to go. But, you know, it's just a, just a decent, uh, you know, just a decent route, I think. Right, we will apply brake two now. Approaching Sittingbourne. I can't actually see uh, the station yet, but it's literally going to be right around this corner. I even go to break one, you know, we're actually slowing down pretty quickly. Obviously, I'd, I, I, I want to try and stop correctly at this station. And not so much, you know, not stopping a bit over. It's sort of like an optical illusion, though. I don't actually feel like I'm going that quick. You know, it is the same with that German train as well, you know. Because I was so high up, I didn't feel like I was going quick at all. When in reality, I was probably going, you know, 50 kilometers an hour. And I thought I was only going like, you know, probably 10. It was weird. All right, let's stop it there, I think. I think that might have been another small overshoot, actually. I don't think I judged it that well, but we'll try again next time. Hold on, has a train just appeared on the other platform? Yeah. <laughs> There's a 465 on the on the other platform. Right, we'll get back into our nice warm cab. Of course, we can actually get the doors closed. Get going. Right, power two off to Newington in 3.1 miles so like the previous train sim videos I'm just going to uh, you know get over there and you know not talk not bore you guys out and uh, yeah I'll get over there and I'll talk to you guys when we're on approach Hopefully, we'll have a better stopping uh, position than the uh, previous few stations. That would be quite nice. Okay, so we are now 1.2 miles away from Newington. So, we do actually have a 40 uh, speed limit in 0 0.9 miles. So, I might uh, do a normal or one brake application. As I think that might slowly bring the train down. But obviously, we are, you know, slowly approaching Newington as well. However, something that I've seen while driving, I think we'll see it in a few, you know, seconds with this thing. Well, it's not actually doing it with this one. But on some of the other signals, they were like flashing. Like it was going on, off, on, off. And I'm just like, why is it doing that? And I'm pretty sure you guys will tell me in the comments below, but I have no idea what it, why it does that. Obviously, it has to, you know, it has to mean something, you know, has to signal something. Well, no pun intended, but it has to mean something. I just don't know what it is. But sometimes, you know, there are just, you know, some signals that just flash. And I have no idea what it is. So if you guys do know what it is, please do let me know in the comments below. Because I have no idea why it's doing that. But here we are in or uh, heading into Newington. 
We're just slowly making our way to the stop car marker. Let's hope they have, that we have a bit of a, uh, a better stopping position than last time. It would be quite nice. That was okay. Are you okay, mate? <laughs> we were just like wanting to go over here, but because of the lamppost, he couldn't. Pass yeah, passengers must not cross this line. Well, I mean, he did see it. He didn't cross it, but he was just like trying to walk in there. It was just weird. Well, we actually need to depart here soon, so we'll get back in the cab. Close the doors as well. And we'll get ready to uh, head uh, over to our next destination, which is Rainham. And then obviously after that, we've got Gillingham, Chatham, and then Rochester. Seventy-five speed limit. Obviously, you have to be careful. Oh, wait, hold on! You're getting wheel spin in third, going fifteen miles an hour. Okay, there we go. That was just weird. <laughs> well, you do have to be careful on the power on this train. Jeez. But anyway, let's get up to speed. Get over to Raynham. And once again, I'll see you guys when we are approaching that station. We are now once again 1.2 miles away from Raynham. I haven't actually really had to start braking now. But I think I need to now as there is a 60 uh, coming up. So we'll throw on probably a brake 2 application actually. As we aren't slowing down as quick as uh, we should be. But there we go. We are now at 60. And now we just need to judge when we're going to start braking. So maybe 0 0.6 will whack on a brake too. Going 60 mile an hour. It should hopefully get us down to an okay speed. I mean, we could have done it a bit later. As, the, you know, the other speeds we have been going have been very quick. See, now, you know, we're already, you know, below 40 and we haven't even hit under, you know, 400 or 700 yards to uh, to the station. So we'll let it coast a little bit into the station. And then we can always play around with, uh, with the brakes again. All right, brake one application. Get it down to 25. Or around 25. Maybe apply a bit of brake to maybe just to get down the speed a little bit. I want to try and aim to enter the last box at 10 mile an hour. So then I can whack on brake one and then, you know, play around with it if need be. There we go. I think that was a better stopping position than uh, all the previous ones. I mean, it does say that we need to stop here. Well, this is where we should be stopping. The stop car marker said here. But yeah, we're due to depart in a few seconds once again, so instead of looking out of the cab, we'll, uh, we'll go back inside of the cab. And get ready to close the doors when we can. But we're doing the service, you know, pretty much on time. You know, we're not really, uh, you know, uh, incredibly early or anything like that. You know, we're pretty much, you know, it's just go in, open the doors, wait for the passengers to load. And then almost a case of, you know, right now, close the doors and get going. Pretty efficient service. Gillingham Station or Gillingham Train Station, whatever it's called. <laughs> Just Gillingham uh, in 2.9 miles. So uh, once again, that's C6 there. Yeah, that's another thing I don't want to do in um, in these train trains of or 12 trains of Christmas videos. I don't want to do freight trains because they are just 
moving services. You know, you don't, you know, you, you don't, you know, stop at any stations, you know, regularly. I want to do passenger trains. I don't really want to do freight trains. But yeah, joining them in 2.6 miles. So once again, I will uh, get this power down. We can probably go power four now. Get over there and once again i will see you guys on approach to a gillingham station so once again we are just outside gillingham and we are back down at, at a 60 and i think because obviously we broke so early last time uh we might you know might try and leave the braking a bit later we do have a 50 but that's after the station so no need to be worried about that. So, oh my! Accidentally uh, removed the uh, direction switch. Right, eight hundred yards. Break two. Now we'll see how that affects. Because break two is actually pretty powerful in this train. Beautiful. Now to a good speed. To enter the station. Entering Gillingham. Slow it down a bit more. Obviously, so aim to enter that last box at 10. And then play around with the braking. Break two. I might actually do it. Break one. Let it coast a little bit. Full stop here. I think that's a pretty good stopping uh, position, that. Not quite near the stop car marker, but in terms of where the uh, marker was actually telling us to stop, I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good stop there. Right, once again, no time to uh, wander off though. We need to get on with the service when we can. I don't know if it's me, but it seems like the snow is coming down a lot more heavier. I don't know if it's just me or not. Right, let's get going on to Chatham, which is actually the second to last stop of this service. 1.4 miles away. Probably doesn't need a speed up though, to be fair. Although with the 50 speed limit, I've just seen. Okay, right. You, you can't cheat the system. When there's no snow, you can't go for and get that power going. Yeah, but with that 50, uh, might be a bit of a... Oh, come on, I did the same thing again. But with that 50 uh, speed limit, might uh, be a bit uh, long to do. And now that I talk about the snow, I think it's coming down a lot less now. So maybe we can put this on to Intamin. And have it happen ever so often. I mean, in the tunnel, we probably don't even need it anyway. Get it going and then we'll turn it off temporarily. There's snow in the tunnels. I don't get that. <laughs> Logic doesn't... You know, it, it, it doesn't work. Why is there snow in the tunnel? I think that's a 465. No, that isn't a 465. That's another 7375. From the lights, it looked like it was in a it was a um four six five from far away. It's only when it got a bit closer that I realised nope, that isn't that. We do have a thirty coming up. We put these on intimate again. All right, 
Right, there we go. Down to 13. Entering Chatham as well. Oh, we're going downhill, so the train isn't going to slow down as quick as it should be doing. There we go. Slowly entering the station. And then obviously we've only got one more stop after this. Which obviously is a Rochester. I think we'll apply break one application now. Might be enough what we need to get down to 10. For that next box, maybe a bit of break two every now and then. Should help us just maintain that speed. There we go. Okay. Getting good with this stopping, I think. <laughs> I'll be saying that and then you watch. I'll uh, just overshoot the next station. Well, actually, I don't think I can because obviously with it being the... Uh, the final station, I think the uh, signal at the, at the end of the, you know, station is going to be red. Which we do not want. And obviously we need to wait until we can uh, go. Which, we are actually here a little bit early actually, so... Must have got something wrong, and I've just seen that we do actually have a 20 mile an hour in 1.2 miles. Why are we travelling at such low speeds? But we should be able to go soon. And I think as we go to the final station... I'll talk about something else that I didn't actually plan to actually say when I started this video. I've literally just thought about it now. Which I thought I would probably tell you guys, because, yep. Yeah. As we go to Rochester. Now, when this video is coming out, you're probably seeing over on my vlogging channel, if you haven't subscribed to it yet, links in the description, uh, that I'm doing Vlogmas, and I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, and I probably should be making this announcement before the December, and I probably will do. But I'm just letting you guys know on this video, in case you don't know. I'm doing a series called Vlogmas on my second channel. And Vlogmas is something that a few people do. And I was just seeing the 20 actually it is after Rochester. And Vlogmas is where you vlog every day up until December, or actually Christmas itself. Um, now I am doing that and basically I want to kind of set myself a challenge where I have to do something Christmassy every day until December 1st. Um, whether it be watch a Christmas movie, play a Christmas game or something that at least relates to Christmas, I have to do. So even though I said at the start of this video I'm just going to chillax, you know, throughout the Christmas period... I will still be working, I'll still be editing, you know, videos and, you know, doing stuff, you know, I'm not just going to take, you know, a, you know, month long, you know, a month long break, you know, I'll be streaming as well, you know, normally. What I mean is, is that I'll have the, I'm just going to set myself so I have the afternoon entirely free to do what I need to do. But I am doing that uh, as another series, um, obviously, as I said, over on my vlogging channel. So if that interests you, then uh, make sure you go over to my vlogging channel and subscribe. And uh, yeah, just hope you enjoy the vlogs over there. I think it should be a uh, a cool series to do. Bring it back for an for another year. And the reason many people will you know will probably think why aren't you doing all content on this channel? It's because I want to separate my content. You know, anything that, you know, relates to trains or gaming or anything like that will most likely be on this channel. But things like, you know, holiday vlogs, day-to-day -day life vlogs, if I do any, um, or, you know, in any, you know, holiday vlogs that I might do in the future, I mean, um, 
they will all be done on the vlogging channel. I, I want to dedicate, obviously, this channel to, you know, the gaming stuff, the train stuff, and everything like that. So, if I do, you know, IRL train stuff, then that will be made on this channel because, obviously, my fan base is mostly, you know, train enthusiasts and stuff. But, yeah, things like, you know, other vlogs, you know, generic vlogs, day-to-day -day live vlogs, as I said, uh, will be uploaded on that channel. But there we go. We have now finished our service. We'll uh, get our overview, as you can see. There were all of the stations. We'll have a look at the stopping position. All well, the stopping positions. It seems like the closest one was Gillingham at 0.4. I did think that was a pretty good station, uh, obviously, when I... Um, when I stopped there, but as you can see, you know, the timings, you know, pretty much bang on or, you know, a minute early. So it was kind of, you know, straight in, straight out sort of scenario. That was pretty good. Um, got a gold medal from this, uh, from this timetable, level 45 on my profile overall, nearly level 46, level 17 on the Southeast and high speed Add level 10 driving this train with the key statistics. It's taken me 34 minutes to do, or 35 if you round that up. Uh, nearly 19 miles, and I've walked a total of 616 yards. So I think with that, I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. That would be awesome, and thank you very much. And if you're also enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content as well. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care, and... Peace out.